Hi crafters, it's Muriel. Hey, I'm here this afternoon to show you a quick project I um, worked on last night. I don't know if it's a project, but it's just something that came to mind. I was inspired again by something I saw in one of my craft magazines, but I altered some of these craft bags. These bags were given to me, I believe, by Crafty Irina. I'm not sure. I tried looking back on some videos, Irene, to see if you had uh, were so kind enough to give them to me. But there were two, four, six, eight of them. Two of them I've altered another way, and I'm still waiting on some ink. And I'll show you those uh, four once um, I complete the two. But these are the bags. So these are craft bags, and these are striped. And these had a uh, different pattern on them. And I'll show you what I used to um, change them up a bit. So the flower leaves that you see on there are these two here. They're two different uh, types of leaves and they're by Sizzik. They are branch with leaves, I guess one and two, let's say, but you can see the number 656064. Okay, so I cut some of those out and I used a, um, a stamp. This was a pack that uh, came in a four pack from Costco many many moons ago when we did a lot of crafting items inside of the warehouses so I was looking for something to um, jot in the circle of these images and I found this little stamp here from that stamp pack it's just a little bitty flower so I just inked white ink and stamped them all over and it really makes the um, pattern stand out a bit and then I use Michael's flowers you remember these from the two dollar spot I use a lot of the blues and greens but they had these colors as well so if you have these ladies and guys and you're ready to do something with them here's a wonderful idea now these are the newest wooden word um, embellishments that Michael have and I know a lot of people are complaining because they're hard to get off um, and I can see where they would be because this sticky tape here is you know look at that that's how strong it is so what I did excuse the hair because it fell on the floor and there's nothing but hair all through this house um, was I cut it first right so I'm just dealing with one piece and then I really just gingerly easily peeled it away from the sticky part like holding it down and then kind of creasing my hand underneath it to get it off so they came off with no problems but I did use these you can see I used four out of the six so I just have the two left and then some more of the Michael uh, metal embellishment these are the birds with the bird cages but I also use um, the bicycles so there's one two three um embellishment that I use from the two dollar spot which you know I kind of love you know it's the one um, that I have lots of lots of Michael two dollar spot embellishment so here is um, one of the bags just says hello has a cute bicycle two of the leaves and these cute flowers from Michaels then on the back to close it I just put some washi tape down the back here and I just stamped faintly you can see my name Cooper right there um, so you know they're cool for putting ribbons um, tapes whatever you want to give um, it's all about the wrapping so I mean you could put like a popsicle in here and whoever you gave it to would be so ecstatic <laughs> and here's another one using the word lovely and this is some vellum what I did was cut out a piece of vellum um, like 11 inches long and probably 3 inches wide and I scored it at 3 and I scored it on the op opposite side at 2 and 7 eighths and um, I don't know if this needs to be a tutorial because it is so you know it was just easy breezy but so you have 11 and a half inch vellum you score it at three on one side two and seven eighths which is like a eighth inch less than the three and then um, what I did I don't know if you can see it but I did take the little flower stamp and stamped with color if you can see those blues right there maybe they'll you can kind of see them very faint this is chalk paint because chalk paint will dry quick on vellum than the ink base and then there is the um, washi tape so that you don't see the closure and again I just stuffed tissue in it so you can see that whatever you stuff in it, it's not it's there's enough room 
Okay, and then there's the flower and the cute uh, leaves. And then this one here says friends. Same thing, I stamped this one with, um, I think that's just white. So, you, well, no. This one I didn't stamp, sorry. It's just coming through, which is nice, a vellum. Okay, I use the bird cage here, the word friends. On the back, the washi tape and my little signature. And then the last one here, um, there's this uh, leaf punch. The bicycle says sunshine. Now I believe I did stamp this one so we look close we can see I stamped it with the light green ink, chalk ink. You can see it on the back there. And the tape. So it was fun once I got on a roll. I think the longest thing to do was to stamp the white flowers within those circles. That was it. So you don't have to um, stamp that if you don't want to. Your bags may be different. You may even have the um, the uh, vintage bags that we all have. You may work with those. But I just happen to have these. I was looking at a video um, um, that Irene had sent me trying to find where she gave these to me. And she had given me lots of bags to alter and lots of tags to alter. So I'm trying to, um, you know, each, I don't know, so often go through a, a bunch of them and use them because I think that um, they're cute for, again, when you're giving items to your crafting friends. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know. I did put these on Facebook. I don't... Um, you know, I don't share my channel with everyone. That's why I decided to do a video. But um, if you have any questions, please just leave me a detailed message down below. And have a great afternoon, everyone. Bye now.